only the genius of the way that people like Cameron and Osborne would think would say that the health service should be run by importing someone like Mr Kershaw to Brighton. Imagine in any other job, if you went for an interview, if you went for a job at the co-op and they said, well, what happened in your last job? You said, well, I was in the co-op in a different branch. How did you get on? I shut it down and turned the whole of the community against me until they were marching up and down the street screaming for my head. Well, that's excellent. You must come here at once. <laughs> Go to Brighton. However, however, there is a logic to it. There is a logic to it. If you are David Cameron or Mr Kershaw or George Osborne, there is a logic to it because they don't see the world the same way as we do. They don't see a world made up of billions of people who are trying their best to help each other, to try and best to create some sort of community to live in the best way they can. They see billions of units, money-making units. As far as they're concerned, if something doesn't make money, it has no right to exist. If Balfour Beatty can't be invited into it, then somehow it's against the laws of physics that it should even be there. That's the way these people think. And so for them, they think the health service is something that ought to be making money. If we need investment, we can only do it if we attract the private finance. And of course they're only going to come into it if they're going to make money out of it as well. And so... We have to see it, I think, as two different ways of looking at the world. Their way of looking at the world, business, our way of looking at the world, community. And of course it's not just hospitals. Everything now is subject to the same idea that if it can't make money it has no right to exist. Libraries that were put up a hundred years ago in the 1920s apparently are things that we can't afford now because back then maybe we were richer in the 1920s than we are now maybe that's the answer or is it that now they can't abide the idea that there are people providing community uh, all sorts of institutions in the community that are paid for collectively that we use instead of that they have this idea that it's almost as if the society ought to be run by Ryanair that you just pay for your little thing and that's it so the idea that they want to promote is one where we say why should we have a library I don't go to the library you pay for it if you want to go to the library I don't want to be educated if you want to be educated that's your idea no idea of community at all and that's why I think we need to learn a couple of things from them strangers it may seem, because there's only a few of them, there's only a few of these business people that see the world in that way, but they stick together. They all stick together, even if they don't like each other, like Boris Johnson and Cameron. They stick together when it comes to attacking the poor, and that's what we've got to do, because it isn't a coincidence that it's not just hospitals, it's not just libraries, it's not just fire stations, it's every aspect of the world that is used by ordinary people is coming under attack. And all of the people who use all of those things need to stick together. That's why I think it's brilliant that the students who fought so in, such an inspiring campaign of an occupation at the university are represented here today just as people on this campaign should be represented in whatever way we can support the students. Well, in, all across the country, there are millions of people who are angry, fed up, disillusioned, in despair and wanting to do something about the different things that are being cut. All we need to do, it sounds simple but it's a difficult thing, is we need to all get together to unite all of the people who are angry about all of these things so that all these different campaigns in different bits of the country can all come together. And that's why I think if we can, if we can translate what happened in Lewisham here, not the closure, but translate the campaign that happened. I was on the march in Lewisham a few weeks ago, and it was tremendous in that it involved and inspired almost everyone in the whole place. And I think that in Brighton, in a few months' time, needs to be a place where the posters against, the, uh, against Kershaw's plans are in every single window, where there are tens of thousands of people on these marches, and where every single person in the area knows about it, and then he can piss off and go and annoy someone else instead. Yeah. Well, we're going to drop and look up a bit. Once again, we've been to this